Hello everybody, my name is Gedki212 and welcome back to Wonder Song, uh, Act 4. Uh, last time we went on an amazing adventure uh, with some pirates and um, after some devastating news we were able to um, get the water portion of the Earth Song um, after calling on the spirit of the slain beast. We kind of figured out that our quest was um, in a sense fruitless, or at least according to our um, little rainbow friend. But uh, now we're going to do Act 4, which for some reason involves playing as this person. So, here we go. Let's see here. Okay, so we can... So also we can um, change the direction of our sword. I don't know what those crystals above me are for. So it looks like we can use the same controller to manipulate the sword. Okay. Okay, so that's, that represents our health. Fair enough. So I need to be sure not to get hit a certain number of times. I really wonder what this character's deal is. It's, it's, it's very interesting that they would go this direction. That's alright. Psst. Hey, Audrey. Oh, that's right, it's Audrey. Don't forget. You can point your sword straight up to charge with lightning. Ah, oh, shut up. Would have figured that out myself. To be fair, I did. Oh. Okay. Okay, thank God. I wasn't sure. Oh, hello. There we go. Oh, okay, so I can use this. So I assume like you can pass through the walls. Like so. Taking a whole other direction. I mean, how long are we gonna be this guy? Audrey. Oh, jeez. Oops. One more time. Oh. 
Y-Virus. Hey, it's the bird from before. Oh, great. Another human. You here to be all loud and annoying like the last one? That sure was a riot. That lot of good they did. The Queen of Winds is doing just awful, if you're wondering. Acting all dark and spooky. She keeps... birthing monsters. Well, that... it's so gross. She's getting worse every day. This place is just... Uh, shut up! I'm here to take care of the Queen of Winds. Tell me where she's hiding. Like, take care of? Oh, jeez. Well, I... am obligated to stop you. Shut up! Okay. I see where this is going. And I don't want to be here for it. Just... Try not to make it painful for her, you know? She's really so sweet. Or she used to be. So, we, do we get to actually fight the bird queen now? Oh, Audrey can't understand. Audrey can't understand the bird. Okay, I need to be ready to jump. Darn bird. I hate birds, by the way. Well. Okay, fair enough. Let me, um... I'll cut ahead a little bit, because... I think you get what's going to happen here. There we go. Another crown. Two down. Okay, so this happened before Act 3, presumably, or at least the end of Act 3. Yeah, girl. I forgot Audrey was a girl. You da bomb. I know, right? Heart. Can I ask you something? Yeah, girl. I just don't get why you never told me. We were going to end the world until that bard was around. It's co not that it's bothering me. <laughs> I was just curious. It's complicated. Sorry you found that out in such a lame way. I'm not really supposed to tell the hero that. Oh no, this, so this is not. Until like the very end. Because it's hard for normies to understand why it's important. So this is not before Act 3, I guess. It is after. Normies? You know, like mortals? Your planet being doomed is kind of sad. 
but we're clearing the path for a new, better universe. Hey, I completely get it. Nothing normy about me. Someone has to stop the spread of the Overseer's corruption and kill them before they all become horrible monsters. May as well be me, right? That's why you're the hero. Yeah, girl. <laughs> yeah, girl. We're a team, right? So anything you tell that bard, you can tell me too. Noted. I right, well, I'm out. I'll hit you up later, okay? What's up with this wording? Okay, so now here's the real act four. March of the Happy Factory. That music is not very encouraging. Ah, uh, our little bard friend. Hey, little bee. Cool if I call you that? Little bee. I have a name. Still mad, huh? You lied to me. You said I could save the world, but you never really believed in me. And the Earth Sound doesn't even work. It could work. Which, well, which is it? It just never has. Learning it is more than going around collecting stuff. It's like all spiritual. Whole world and harmony type stuff. And that part is really hard. It gets depressing. Watching people try and fail to save their world. I've seen it play out so many times. Why do you even care? Because I like you. And even though I didn't think you'd make it, you proved me wrong. You're special, little bee. I'm done not believing in you. Even if Audrey's the hero. I don't think I want to see her again. Yeah, she can be a little intense. But she's actually really cool. If you two hung out more, you'd totally love her. Trust me. Okay, I'm gonna get back to her now. Why don't you get out of bed at least? Don't give up, little bee. Heart. There's a time. Um, time. What's that about? We're gonna be messing with time? I don't wanna mess with time. Oh man, even our voice is not its best. Who are you? Do ho ho, hello, Muffin. Oh, it's his mom. Hi, Mom. You're finally out of your room. And you look terrible. Are you going out with that look on your face? I don't know. Well, don't. You look so much cuter with a smile. That's more like it. Your friend Miriam wanted to speak to you. She said she'd be outside of town. Why don't you go find her? God. Good morning. How are you doing today, friend? Haha. <laughs> Why, I'm glad you asked. I'm Happy Kid, the newest toy sensation. The latest and greatest from Mr. Baron. Produced at the Factory of Smiles, the Happy Factory. Get a Happy Kid, and you can have a friend just like me. Okay, I'm sorry, I wasn't sure if that noise was uh, the game or the construction going on inside. You don't know happy until you know happy, kid. <laughs> Buy your happiness today at participating stores. Haha! <laughs> Have a happy, happy day, friend! Time is passing. What's the deal with that? I mean, there, there wasn't a time cycle before. Hmm. 
Who are you? The factory here determines the schedule of everything. The flow of people in and out during day and night. It is the lifeblood of this city. Don't look at me with that, like that. You know that he's... His name's Vlad. This is a city of sad and lost spirits. They march in line as if driven by machinery. To see a new face here is pleasant change. Some say the Baron of Factory is evil man, but I once knew him as a kind and gentle. That was a long time ago. Alright. So there's a factory here somewhere then. So time only appears to pass when I'm outside. Gift house? Let's see. Yeah, time doesn't pass on inside. Hey, welcome to like the gift house. We have like all the greatest toys for sale here. I'm not including Happy Kid, most popular toy ever. Produced right here in the factory. Woo! Take Happy Kid home with you today and put a smile on your family's face or whatever. Well, hi there! You look young and able. <laughs> Wanna work a shift in the factory today? Mm, no thanks. I'm getting notes. I wanna find a... Let's see if I can find Marley anywhere. Probably mess up names. I'm not good with names, guys. I just wanna be clear. I'm really, really bad with names. See what this oh there she is miriam okay yeah it wasn't even close well looky who it is finally done with all your moping no oh what brings you out here think you might be ready to meet the next overseer there's an overseer here uh yeah you're standing right at the nexus point oh so we just need the overseer song I already figured that out. I got a lot done while you were busy being useless. Oh. So Lullaby by Your Mom used to sing to you. I already know that song. Yeah, total plot twist, I know. So I just have to sing it? That's what I'm saying. Ready when you are. Okay, well. Well, come on. Sing your mom's old lullaby. There's no way. It didn't work. Ugh. I was afraid of this happening. The nexus point is blocked. It's all these disgusting clouds in the sky. Guess I wasn't useful after all. Don't be like this right now. This smog is definitely coming from the factory. We have to find a way to shut it down. Oh, come on. Stop looking at me like that. Seeing like this is making me mad. I, for one, am not going to sit around while the hero prances around killing overseers. So get back in there and help me figure out how to shut down the factory. Anything else you want to say? Has to be some way to stop the factory. Come on, go figure it out. Okay. Well, we know where it is. Perhaps um, working a shift will give us the infiltration point that we need. This place is depressing. This is where 
And like, here's the thing, like this is where the bard's from. Like this is where his mom and dad are, presumably. Hello, Miriam, when the heck did you get here? Sheesh, it's cold out here. You probably shouldn't have done the factory yet? I can tell you rumors about stuff in town. Not have anything else to contribute. Elmer. What a work a shift in the factory today? Okay. Oh goody! Come right this way. Here at this factory, we make Happy Kid. It's the happiest kid of all, and everyone's favorite toy. You could say we're like a big happy family. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh god. <laughs> I'm so excited. You'll have a great time working here. I just know it. That is really creepy the way he walks away. Oh god. Just a bit farther now. Are we going downstairs? If you know what I mean? Here we are. Isn't it wonderful? Modern machinery working in perfect harmony. It fills me with such joy. <laughs> Well, let me show you what your job is. First, take a piece of coal from this pile. Second, throw it into the furnace. And repeat. Can you remember that? Got it. Okay, make us proud. Well, at least his things are better than normal. Okay, so I just gotta... Guess we're doing this for a little bit? <laughs> this music is really unsettling. Maybe if I overheat the furnace? Or better yet, if I try this. No, it doesn't give me enough force to do that. That's it. Your shift is done. Now let's see how you did on the prize screen. Seriously? Lamer, flamer. A little engine that cold. Wow, great job. I know you're dying to save work forever, but a good worker needs rest. Come back tomorrow. Well. Hey, what's your story? Yeah. Ah! This town sucks. It's too cold and full of smog. And Super Factor is always running. Nobody understands. Have you seen the cute little doggy that wanders around town? She's all alone, just like me. I try to pet her every night at 9.30 p.m. right in front of the clock tower pub. But she won't let me. You know, lonely dog won't be my friend. What do I do to make her like me? My life is completely aimless. Go work in the factory, everyone says. Well, maybe I don't wanna. There's nothing in this world for me. I feel that went soon. So stuff happens at specific times of day. So I guess for now... Hey, there's a doggo. So specific things happen at certain times. A lot of people in here. I once was a was champa boxing arena. Title it come and go, but family it stay. I working for better now, Ma making happy kids toy. 
Oh, my muscles are rippling from a long factory day. It's a good action. Hard work to harden a man. Hey, I remember from the gift shop. I hate it there, but it's a job, I guess. Wait, you just a little sweetheart. Something to drink, huh? Like, juice? No. Holy crud! I hate this friggin' head. My daily prison, that's what it is. It's so stuffy. All day I'm sweating in this stupid thing. Don't smell it if you value your life. I'll fetch the doggo once more. <laughs> Stay here at exact until exactly 9.30, see what happens. <laughs> what do you want from me? The doggo wants the food. How did we get that? Uh, it helps. So you can turn forward time. You don't have to necessarily wait. I'm just trying to see if making progress in the factory does anything for me. Constant ticking of the clock. What does it mean? That's it. Shift is done. Now let's see you did. On the prize screen. Sweet heat. Call me maybe. So cheek busy bee. Diamond in the rough. Burn, baby, burn. Wow, great job. I know you're dying to stay at work forever, but a good worker needs rest. Come back tomorrow. Apparently there's an astronomer outside of town. They have a big telescope, so who knows what kind of stuff they know, right? Maybe you should try finding them. I'll just keep wandering around here. Okay, so an astronomer around town. I guess we'll go on that next. Beth Stunner, who are you? Oh, ice to meet you. <sighs> Puns. It's pretty cold outside, isn't it? Welcome to Beth Stunner. Open. <sighs> 24 hours a day. You want some grub? Yeah. Go ahead to an empty seat and eat it. Okay, well. Great. Why aren't you just chipper? Well, hello there. I'm the street sweep, don't you know? Being out late as me, you see some funny stuff. With that astronomer from out of town, eh? She has the best time every night at midnight. Only time she's ever in town, don't you know? Okay. So I need to... So Beth's Diner is where this astronomer will be in 90 contextual minutes. Hello. I haven't seen you around town before. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Ilara, the astronomer. I've been observing some interesting celestial activity. The stars, one by one, they're going out. Unfortunately, with the factory smog output, I can't see the flopping whiz bats in the sky anymore. Part of my language. So I can't get to my research on that phenomenon. Instead, I've taken to watching the town, plotting subterfuge. I can see you don't have much to say, so I'll just keep talking. I figured out how one could shut down the factory. I just need a cohort. I'll do it. I'm impressed. 
Nobody's taken me up on this yet. We need people on the inside to help us. We'll have to recruit them from the people from this town. Specifically, people who are awake during the day, but unemployed. I need your help to find them since I live nocturnally. If we gather three such people, we could infiltrate the factory and use this diner as a nightly meeting spot. Good luck. So I need to find people during the day that don't have a job. Okay. Just need to find a spot to pass time. Let's do six hours. Six hours later. Haha! -ha. Happy, happy friend! That's how I'm feeling. Get your own happy kid, you can feel it too. Yeah, this just goes in an endless loop. What about that guy? He didn't have a job during the day. I shall pet the doggo. Suppose you want to overthrow the factory, do you? Do you want to help overthrow the factory? Oh my, what a question. But I'm quite busy with the mail, as you can see. Sorry to stamp out your dreams. It's just not necessary. I try to letter you down easy. I would enjoy the puns a lot more if this place wasn't so depressing. So if I go from this angle... Yeah, I can loop back around. You gotta take the long way to get here. Oh wait, look, the mask guy. Well, hey now, Wanderer. It's been some time. What are you doing here? Hmm. I don't know. Hey, you don't have a job. Do you want to help over through the factory? Nah. That isn't my pace. But thanks for thinking of me. <laughs> Well, I tried. I tried to get a new dance, but I'm guessing this is not the time. But yeah, presumably, if I... Because the whole thing loops around. So presumably, if I loop all the way around... Yeah. There we go. Now I can get to the guitarist. Hopefully there's something in it for me. Hey. You seem sad and aimless. Wanna um, help overthrow the factory? Drawn in by my sorrowful music, were you? It's no show. I play from the heart. I play for a city. Its heart replaced with machinery. Cold as the snow that falls upon it. For love unrequited. I cannot bear to face her, but I've written my feelings in this letter. Please deliver it to her. She stands in front of the factory every day. From 11.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. I know because I can't take my ass off her. I don't even know her name. Seriously? Can I get down? Oh. That's a roof shortcut! No way. Seriously? It's Miriam? What do you want? Well, I have this letter for a girl standing here at this time. So it's for me. I guess so? What is this? This is... Gross! Oh, I've got an answer, all right. Take this back to him. And don't read it. I want to read it so bad, but I won't. I have a feeling we're going to get the answer either way. Winston, do you get dehydrated from all that crying? Rooftop shortcut. Um, I have a letter for you. 
from her. Yeah. Uh, this is amazing. <laughs> what? She's agreed to meet me. Oh, wait. She also said, don't tell the weird bard. That's definitely me. Alas, I already I have broken a promise. But what is a love that doesn't know second chances? Um, every moment without her is pain. I await our meeting with continued sadness, though slightly less sadness than before she agreed to meet with me. That's cool. Also, want to help overthrow the factory, maybe? Yes. We have meetings in the diner every night. I will be there. The fashion must be taken down, for the good of everyone, just require two more recruits. I may be able to provide some intelligence on who to look for, if you like. Yeah, please. There's a man who is constantly crying around town during the day. He seems to have no direction in life, so he would probably be willing to help us. Find out what he wants. All right, Peter. I devised a name for our little group of comrades. The Astronomers. We see above the trappings of this machine city to a factory-free future. I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna pass some time. Well, I meant to do a little more than four hours, but... Let's pass, uh, four more hours. Four additional hours later. So that's cool. You kind of interact with the town with an actual, like, time system, and you have to manage who is where doing what. Okay, so Doggo wants food. How do I get food for the Doggo? Going over to the factory? Whoa, I definitely don't love it, but... Where's our tiny factory? That sounds like a lot. Probably not rock the boat. So he wants to pet the dog. I need to figure out where food... Food be. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I know. I know, I know, I know. I think I know. So, you have the option. Because when you go to Beth's diner, right, you are given food. You don't necessarily need to eat it in Beth's diner, right? So if I were to go in there right now... Hey, do you want to help with the factory? Yeah, that's what I thought. Go ahead to the empty seat and eat it. See, I could go to the seat, but also take this food to the dog up. Probably gonna have to wait because it's too late. There we go. Hey, that plate. I think the dog likes it. Hand it over. Yes, I'm not too late. Please. <laughs> we... We're friends now! <laughs> I forgot what this felt like. Cool. Also, do you want to help me shut down the factory? You mean the factory that ruined this whole town? And took all the jobs? So they had no choice but to make happy kid? Or be in love forever? Yeah, I think that one. Yes, I will help you. We need we meet at the diner every night. Alright, Alara. The factory used to just be a small toy shop, but it grew under the hand of its vicious owner, the Baron. Its growth changed the landscape of this place radically. To be honest, I'm not sure who else in the city may be swayed. Do you have anybody who has no job? 
Okay. So I guess we just need to talk to people. Doggo does not. Six hours. Six hours later. Who else do we know in this town who doesn't have a job? No way. Are we gonna seriously get mom to do it? Hey mom. Do you wanna help overthrow the factory? <laughs> that sounds like fun. But your mom is too tired for that kind of action. Those days are behind me, Muffin. You have to find some other friends to help you. Good luck. Miriam? Need help finding people to shut down the factory? Just one more. Hmm. You're on your own with this one. I can't think of anyone. Everyone that's lost in town always up. What about you? What? No. Okay. Hey, it was an it's worth giving an honest effort. I was gonna check to see if there is anything or anyone. If there's anything or anyone out here who might be willing to provide some information. I assume this is where the astronomer hangs out. But what lies beyond? Oh, is this it? I figured the dance would be here. Just based on the atmosphere. Okay, well. I'll find them eventually, and, um. Yeah. Can't think of anyone. Hello, Beth? Nice to see you. See, it's a joke because I got it. I say bundle up in the winter. Don't want to go sneezy in. Coffee. Mm hmm. Okay. There has to be somebody else. There just has to be. I just don't know who to look for, really. I'm gonna try asking the masked man again. I mean, I'm pretty sure he'll still say no, but. I don't know who else to ask. Ask? Okay, so I need to be at the special place at 7.30 or 7 a.m. That's fair. We can make that happen. Six hours later. There we go. Hey now, Wanderer. You did good finding me here. I feel something lurking within you, just beneath the surface. It's another dance, Wanderer. I think it's time to wake it up. You got a new dance. Beautiful dance, Wanderer. Carry it with you on your journey. Show the world the dance that lives inside you. Yeah! I can do that now. Hey, that great. Okay. I'll be right back. I will find this guy. Whoever it is, I will find them. Okay, so it is Miriam. I'm sure you guys were screaming at me uh, when I was so close to getting the third person. I was. I was in the exact right mindset, and I didn't follow through. So... You do, in fact, need to go to Mom's house. And you just need to keep talking to Miriam until you convince her to join you. Come on, Miriam! What? Why can't you help us? Why me? Because you're the only one left. Yeah. 
real flattery. Glad to be your last resort. You know, this used to be my adventure. Just me and my grandma, Safi. But ever since you showed up, somehow I never get to do anything anymore. Even though I'm the one with the magic powers. How do you think that feels? She probably thinks I'm useless. She trusted me so little, she asked you to help me. And then, you basically proved her right! How do you think that feels? I... well... I think I know how that feels. Like when I found out someone else was the hero. It made me feel so... pointless. I don't belong on an adventure. Yeah, except you're obviously useful. You sing us through every problem. You're obviously useful. You can fly and you always know what to do next. Somehow, hearing that from you doesn't make me feel better at all. Mm. Me neither. But that's why we gotta do this. Together. We gotta prove that we aren't useless. We can do it if we... we we can't do it if we don't try. Okay. Fine. I'll help. This time. I'll see you at the nighttime diner meeting. Yeah, there we go. Time to go back to the depressing place. I'll see you guys at the bar. Diner. You know what to do. Hey, Lara, I gathered the squad. Aha, you've done it. We have a suitable number of recruits for our subterfuge. Yes, soon the factory will fall and this city shall be free from the shackles of industry. Yeah. <laughs> so, all we need to do now is take up jobs in the factory. We have to destroy it from within, or at least disrupt its basic order. If we take up positions on the factory floor, we can work together to do that. I'm excited. It will be the dawn of a glorious new day. Comrades, let's join together and lead this city into the light of a factory-free world. Yeah! <laughs> that may be going a bit far, but I appreciate the enthusiasm. All the pieces are gathered. Plans ready to go into motion. Tomorrow, into the factory. Alright. One more time. Six hours later. Hello, Elmer. Want to work a shift in the factory today? Okay. Oh, goody. Come right this way. Oh my god, I just realized like my steps sound like little clock ticking. Or at least that's all they do. That's so clever. God, this is game's clever. Good luck in there. We've all got your back. Ever since you showed up, my life's gotten so much better. You gave us direction, a sense of purpose. For this, you have my thanks. Yeah, thanks! Now, we descend into the belly of the beast and claim this city back from the clutches of this dark machinery. Yeah, what he said. Let's do it. We're gonna go completely musical styles up in here.
There we go. be a little easier to see what the other people are doing. There's only one more. Excuse me, you rapscallion! You've caused quite the disruption. Mr. Baron will want a word with you. Oh, we actually get to meet Mr. Baron now. Now move right along to his office. Very well. Time to stick it to the man. Mr. Baron is just up these stairs. <laughs> you must be so excited. Shut up, Yelmer. You're just a yes man. Oh, these are pretty. Looks like a mine. That's a cute little fire aesthetic. Ho, ho. So ho ho! You're the one who disrupted my factory. I'm very disappointed in you. When we allow someone to work here, we are making them part of our family. Why would you let this family down? Because we want you to shut it down. Shut down the factory? Yes. How could you even suggest that? Ever since I started this business, we worked tirelessly to bring joy to people. And Happy Kid is my greatest work. It's the best toy. It brings smiles to everyone. Why would you want to take that away from the world? Do you hate joy? If you think Happy Kid brings joy, then you don't know what joy is. Everyone in the city is hurt by the factory. It's big and noisy and smelly. Nobody even likes Happy Kid. It's just a toy. But our lives are ruined making it. It brings no joy at all. Oh. Be 
It's done. What? I shut down the factory. Just like that? All I wanted was to bring joy to people. I thought Happy Kid was finally the answer. But I can see it is not. Perhaps in my absence, the world changed. Or I did. But whatever the reason, if my factory isn't doing its job anymore, I have to reconsider its purpose. All of you, leave the way you came. I have a lot to think about. I want to talk to Bear a little more. To think that all these years, the dream I was working toward, it wasn't successful. That's hard. Maybe it's time I took a break. You can go. I have a lot to think about here. I'm angry, but also relieved. Angry to be told my toys didn't create joy, but relieved that there were those who would tell me. I must deeply rethink what it is I'm doing. That was Santa Claus. I don't care what you said. That was... That was gosh darn Santa Claus. Sniff, sniff. It still kind of smells out here. But hey, you did it. The factory's finally shut down. I totally believed in you and stuff. And I totally believed in you, Miriam. Okay. I'll be waiting outside of town. When you're ready to go see the overseer, come meet me. Yeah, might as well just go straight there. I'll see you guys uh, in a second. This nexus point is called the Annual Lights. They're nice, right? Now hurry up and sing so we can meet the overseer. You want to leave with me? Yes. Um, but aren't you... I mean, aren't you going to miss the sad roof guy who liked you? No. Alright. It's not even like that. He's just a friend, okay? I can't believe we're talking about this. Just seen the song already. This time. I'm going to stand right here next to you. Hitch a ride into the spirit world. What it, what's it usually like in there, anyway? The one time I went was after Queen Chaos died. So it was all dark and empty. Usually it's all magical and full of puzzles. Huh. Well, perfect. This time I'll help you out. I could probably blow us through that stuff instantly. Well, okay. Miriam. Um, hello? Miriam? She's not here. Oh, wow, this is weird ambience in the background. Okay. So that's so why we have to interact with constantly moving platforms for this section. Okay, that's cool. I'm guessing those are death. So I do need to... 
My, yeah, that that is death. That is death. That is genuine death. Be upon me. It's interesting that the platforms are different, like shapes, and are constantly moving. Nope. Oh, I hate death. Death is bad. Okay. There we go. Alright, that's interesting. Oh, so we can move and reverse time. That's cool. That's really cool, actually. Oh, okay, that is death. That is instant death. Also, wow, that sucks. No, it is a cool concept, but... Like... It's interesting because, like, now these are pushing me in the opposite direction. Still have to wait. Still have to wait for them to come down or come up, I guess. Oh, it's because that was pushing me out. Okay, that was the whole reason. Makes sense. get into one of the deeper ones. Yeah, that's how it's done. Okay, well, that's really bad. I should not reverse the polarity of time there. 
now I have to go back because I need to accelerate time. There we go. There we go. This I think. Yeah, that's what I need, but God, that is scary. That is really, really uncomfortably scary. Uh, I do not like long jumps. I do not like death to find jumps. At least it puts me back up here, thank God. But, uh. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah. Okay. my situation. It is bad. There we go. I like how the music kind of, I mean, essentially rolls in reverse when you reverse time. Oh god. Care enough for these death-defying jumps. Boom, that's how we do it. Okay, well. That requires very precise timing. Okay. Shit, Griffin. Just gotta remember the timing. I didn't remember the timing. Come on. There we go.
stop in time. So water dose style. That is fast. There we go. Okay, what the heck? Alright, I'm just gonna ignore the gears. I'm probably way overthinking this. Yeah, they don't hurt me. Tokyo! Tomatat! Okay. Why did the music stop? I will open this door with the power of music and time. Okay. So are we gonna encounter Audrey again? Hello. Are you here to see her highness, Queen Order? So there's a Queen Order and a Queen Chaos. Interesting. Yep. Is she here? Well, of course. She's just ahead in the throne room. Oh, great. Then I'll just go on ahead. Wait just a second there. Do you have an appointment? Um, no. Hmm. Well, that isn't gonna work. We'll have to schedule one. Oh, no. I'll need to ask you a few questions. What's the purpose of your visit? I need to live there, son! Ah, um, sorry, that's not one of the options. Is your purpose personal or for business? Business? Okay. How big is your party? See Miriam? Uh, no, sorry, I have not. Should I put you down as one? Make it two. Okay, two people. Why can't I just go see her? Well, that's against the rules here, Bucko. We're almost done. How do you take your tea? I don't like tea. Don't like tea. That's just impossible. Uh, choose! Cream and sugar, I guess. I don't- I don't like tea in real life. 
Oh, tea or cream and sugar. Okay, that's all lot of questions. Oh, great. Can I go see her now? Not yet. You need to wait in line. In line? Yes. Where's the line? It's here. Now, wait. Better to do than to dance. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, if, if anything. Hello? That is enough. I literally will not let you see her until you stop singing. I sang one note. So I have to wait this out. Hey! No singing. Wait quietly. I'm gonna see how far I can take this. Excuse me, I wasn't kidding. Do not sing. Hello? That is enough. I literally will not let you see until you stop singing. Okay. I guess we just really do have to wait quietly. Nice, it's your time to see her now. Follow me. What's going on here? Your Highness, Queen Order. Why aren't you seated at your throne? We have a visitor here and you're completely out of place. <laughs> See for yourself, darling. Oh, it's the first overseer that we met. Oh, my goodness. What is he doing here? This is so... I'm... improper! So, you're an overseer? Mm, yes. Huh. He seems so normal. All the other overseers were like magical animals. <laughs> Humans are animals, darling. Oh, yeah. I guess. You know, at this precise moment, I'm supposed to be having my tea. Little Order has such a way of getting himself distracted. One moment, please. Come to my castle. The hero came by mine to kill me. And I kind of wasn't feeling it. 
So you ran away, I guess. That's a way to put it what I did. You can also put it as, I decided to get out of the castle a bit. Come visit an old pal. Isn't this nice? How are you doing? This, no. This is completely out of life right over here. I'm a duty, Dream King. Yeah, yeah, I know. We're all old and corrupted. Turning into horrible monsters. Our time to go, yada yada. But I really don't want to die. Even if it is our job, I don't think I can do it. So what am I supposed to do? <laughs> oh, okay, well. Hello, Audrey. Hello, boys. And Bart. Okay, that's just mean. Looks like I finally found you, Dream King. Thought you could get away from me. You just advised me a twofer instead. Wait! Why? Why are you doing this? Just let the only thing live. The world doesn't have to end. Don't be ridiculous. If we let them live, we'll enter an age of darkness. Nightmare on Earth type stuff. You can run around singing stupid songs all you want. But someone has to take charge and save us. And that someone is... Me What was that? <laughs> I can't believe I was the last one to make it here. You saved the Dream King's life, Miriam. Why are you both getting in my way? The overseers are not on your side. I'm the hero. Literally chosen by Aya. Okay. Okay. You want it that way? You got it. Stay back, Grin. This one's mine. Okay. Then you deal with that. I'm gonna deal with the order fairy. Your Highness. <gasps> Mr. Dream King! Did you really give up on fighting the hero? Do I look like I want to? No. But so, maybe now it's time for you to teach me the Earth Song. Oh man, you really don't get it. When overseers give up their song, we're giving up the pure part of ourselves. It feeds up the process of becoming a monster. Basically, it's just another way for me to die. But if you do, the world will survive. Sure, with one tiny problem. This hero might be a lunatic. But she was picked by Aya. And her killing me is part of the plan. Whereas you are nobody. What's the point of throwing away my life to entrust the Earth Song, which has never been sung, to you? Because I already have two pieces of the song. And if your choice is between letting the world end or saving it, you have to pick saving. Even if even if it's just a maybe. Or if I not can see, survive. Don't get killed by any heroes, or sacrifice myself for any bards. I think that is my choice. That's fair. Gra. Ha ha ha. I'll get you after I catch my breath. Forget about it. You losers wasted enough of my time. The Dream King already got away. I hope you're proud of yourselves. But when he goes dark and starts making problems, don't come crawling back to me. We won't. <gasps> wow, Miriam, you stood up to her. She's not so tough. Only because you're tough as nails. I'm glad you came, Miriam. I wouldn't have made it without you. Let's get the song piece. Oh, that's cool. Oh. So we have to jump according the beats.
we go. It's a little hard to see the beats toward the end, but we got it. Twix two kingdoms. Okay, I guess we're doing this now. We're not gonna get through all of that five. I'm just saying right now. As soon as we get a stopping point, we're stopping. I was thinking about what the hero said. Are overseers really evil? Evil? I don't know. I hate her guts, so whatever she wants is bad. Remember, she's just following the rules. The same rules that say she's the hero. And all the rules say that the planet is supposed to die. So if we're going to save it, we have to break the rules. Their song is a pretty big mystery to me and Grandma. We don't know what happened in past universes. Like, did anyone ever try to get the pieces before? Does it even work? Heck if I know. But we have to try? Yeah, that's what Grandma said. <laughs> Hold on to hope, Miriam. I like your Grandma. Me too. Do you miss her? Doesn't matter. We're getting close now. I'm gonna go down. Tired. This is like a good place to rest. It looks creepy. I'm tired. We're resting here. All right. Yeah, and we will be resting too. So uh, next time on Wonder Song, we will uh, be going through Act Five. Hope you guys are enjoying uh, this series. I really am. I'm very much enjoying all the little things. The it's such a wonderful artistic game that has a lot of little nuances. That, it's just wonderful. I love this game. It's great. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next act. Bye bye.